what is going on guys we are back on the crack pack server and so a lot has happened while uh, I haven't been recording it's just, it's only been like less than a day but so first um, cat came over cat dog pig duck when I was working outside and he killed me and he killed me with a beheading sword which apparently is having glitches with dropping a gravestone so all my items were gone all that I got was a head so I had to make a different broom and um, to pay me back, he gave me what I wanted from him before he even killed me, which was this great wood wand, which has the um, portable hole on it. And the reason I want this is because even if people are in their safe zone of their base, they or they, the safe zone that they've created, even if their bed's in there, the only thing is we can't break blocks. So if they're on, I can just, you know, portable hole, walk through, tag lock their bed, walk out, and uh, and that's my plan actually I'm gonna do that a little bit later I'll go around and tag lock people but people have to be on to be able to tag lock them and a lot of guys on the server don't even have beds so I'm just letting you guys know that that's uh, that's what's happened made some uh, rowan wood doors at the front of the house and if you don't already know you need the key to open these and the key pertains to like this specific um, coordinate right here and then you can put them on a key ring just by putting two into a crafting table. And these can hold infinite numbers. So, uh, that's nice. People can't get in my base now. Um, so today, uh, I didn't know they had an ender farm actually, uh, on the server yet. So we're going to be doing some ender farming, or not ender farming, some, uh, using the ender pearls to make some power generation because we don't have any yet. And it's not really a problem but there are some things that I want to do that require power like making tree farms and stuff and then we'll automate the um, the witch's oven so to do this we're going to need some iron and we are also going to need you know what we'll just use some of the adler wood or the alder wood whoops um, so we need an iron pick and then we need some blaze powder make an ender eye and then I need to actually make another bucket and get some lava and get the water right now there we go oh by the way um Chillum who is a fellow warlock witch whatever you want to call us uh, he said that his uh, brazier is working so I'm not sure if mine just wasn't close enough to my altar like the Arthana doesn't extend it for that so I'll move it closer later and check, but he said the specific uh, spell I was using too, the Graveyard Mist, worked for him. So we will have to see if if that was just what I was doing was wrong. He said he did the same thing as me when it came to um, what he put in and what he lit it with. So mine just might need to be a little bit closer. Um, I have lava. There's lava over... Is it over? I didn't light these up. It's a problem. I think it was lava at the end of this one. Maybe. Or we can come over here. I know there was lava over here. Is it below this? No. I know I, I bridged over somewhere because there was lava down here. Hmm. Where is it? I hope it wasn't the other direction. Somewhere down here. If not, we can just branch off to one of these caves to the side. Huh, you know what? We'll just... We'll find it. Do I have any torches on me at all? No, I don't. You know what? Um, I will jump back once I have some lava. Because that pick's about to break. Okay, guys. So we're back. And we have the uh, necessary things to make our endothermic pump which will prevent lag on the server. So that's why we have to make that rather than just a regular pump. And uh, I actually think it's better because it loads the necessary chunks. So we don't even need a chunk loader, as far as I'm aware. Um, I think there might be an issue, like each time you update the server, it might glitch out a little bit. Um, and you just have to reload it then. But other than that, it is good to go. So now we need to make our... We need to make a lava generator, but that's not the first thing. We need our 
ender tanks and I have what we need for that do I have wool on me I have one here I think I may need to go get some which is actually not that bad for me to get uh yeah I think we need to go get some uh, there's sheep around here, there's a sheep over here. And then I don't know what colors we're supposed to use, so I might just use whatever colors I have available for now that aren't being used until I figure out, because I don't know if we have listed colors yet, like we did on the last, uh, world. So we will see. Hmm. Okay, what was it? Ender Pearl... go oh, you know what I gotta make a cauldron first you know what I should make two I think I'm cooking some iron right now yes I am Here we go And I got a bunch of blaze rods from that crude nether farm, but I'm going to have to go back there eventually. Oh, cat got off. I'm going to have to go back there eventually because uh, I'm going to use up a lot of these. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Now the last thing that we need to do, well, we actually need to make... We need to make liquiducts, or fluiducts, that's what they're called now. Where are they? Fluiduct. There's six copper and lead. What does this take? Oh, okay. So we'll just make this. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, that'll be enough. And... There we go. And then we need to make lava generators. So we can make, we'll just start with one because we're just gonna use it to power one room. So that requires, do we have enough gold? No, we do not. We will make that later because I'll go mine some gold between now and then. Um, yeah. So what do we need now? We've got this. Digital miners? Oh, okay. That's the thing that Craft had made. Do we need anything else? We've got a bucket of lava to start it up. We need our dye. That's something. What color can we dye it? We got yellow. And... We don't have, like, anything else. We've got cocoa beans. Can you just straight up dye stuff with cocoa beans? I don't even remember. I feel like you can. Yeah, I guess that's the only die we have. I guess it'll have to do. Um, you know, I'm going to ditch this enchanted broom before we go into the nether because that is not something I want to take in there. We need some cobble. This stuff. Uh, we might need, like, a redstone torch. I'm not sure. I don't really remember how I set this up last time. So, just make like one. Okay. We will head down to the nether. Such a slow descent. Oh yeah, I died down here earlier when I was getting lava. And I thought I lost my broom. Because I accidentally, instead of picking up with a bucket, I picked up with a... I put down my broom because it was right next to my bucket. And then I put on my bucket and tried to pick it up. But instead I left clicked the broom because it was right near the lava. So that put me inside of a wall, and then I jumped out of the wall, and it put me in the lava, and then I died. So this seems like a good a place as any to start it. Uh, oh shit. I don't have a fucking weapon on me right now. This is not optimal. You know what? You're just gonna die with a pick. We're gonna hit you into the... There you go. There you go. Jeez, that thing takes a fuckload of damage. Good. Good riddance, you bastard. 
Okay. Let's get it going over here. Oh yeah, that's right. You can just put it on land because it doesn't actually need. No, we'll extend it with lava anyway. Okay, so what is it? it's like? Endothermic pump. You put this here. Someone's already using that. We'll just go brown while it's glitching out. We'll go triple brown. We'll use brown just because most people don't use brown. And then. Oh, you know what? I forgot a generator. I forgot a way to generate power. God damn it. Oh my god, and I left my broom at home. I didn't have to run all the way back. Oh my god. That was not the smartest thing I've ever done. Uh, we'll use... What do we use? Um, we'll use thermal expansion, magmatic dynamo. Actually, no, that requires invar. You know what? We'll just go. I'll just go collect some gold, and then we'll be back. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, guys, we're back once again, and we got it all set up. It was a pain to get all the stuff back at my base and bring it here. Wow, I just got a wool bat from killing the bat in here that was attacking me. Um, but yeah, I got it all set up. And uh, I actually, I was mining something over here and I crashed. I was mining this ender tank. I randomly crashed. So I was really hoping that I didn't lose my stuff. But luckily we didn't. So we got it all set up. I'll just take another bucket of lava because why not. Uh, okay, so that's storing well. I can store a lot of RF. That's good. Or is it time remaining before it picks up another one? Oh, okay. Makes sense. This should go for, uh, go for a decent amount of time in here. And then if I have to move it, I'll just extend it that way. Um, yeah, so now we gotta go home again. We're gonna pop out by Brink Space. And unfortunately, I have to run all the way home. There's Brinks. I use his nether portal because the other one brings me out um, in like a ravine. So I usually have my thing to, my broom to fly home though, but not this time unfortunately. So I guess we will uh, cut back once we are back at the base. Okay guys, so we're back and we are waiting for some things to finish cooking. Uh, we actually just need one more raw plastic and then we are good to go. So we are going to make plastic sheets, and then we are going to make, actually need to make a machine frame, which means, do I have glass in here? I feel like I have glass in here somewhere, unless I died with it on me, which would be really unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Oh no, it's in my inventory. Why is it in my inventory? Uh... Need one more gold then to finish this up. Um, okay, this should be good. Invar, plastic sheets, shears, machine frame, two gold. Okay, we got the harvester. So the reason we have this is because we are going to make a, a tree harvester. And we can put that over here, right in this open area. And we only need a 3x3 three three space, but I can clear this out. Is it going to go... Okay, good, it goes that way. You know what, I'll extend this dirt a little bit. Get some from over here. And we can put it right here. So now, um, no, we don't want it to do either of those. We can put this here, that on top of it, and where did I put my cocoa beans? Because I need to dye it. The only reason that it's kind of good and bad that I'm using cocoa beans is it's hard to find them. Or it's annoying to find them, I should say. Where did I put them? Did I 
put them in here. Yeah, it is. It's annoying to find them, at least uh, I think it is. So most people don't have them. Um, which is why I don't need to worry about anyone else using it. But then it's also annoying for me to go and find them. Uh, you know, we'll finish this before I go make some food. One, two, three. So then this... Is it going to get power? Then it'll power this. And then we just need to hook it up to an ender chest, which will then go upstairs in our house, which will then connect to a bunch of barrels that will have all the different saplings in them. So make some food. I'm like running really low on food. I don't have like any methods of getting food and I have like no food in here. So I'm going to expand my farm a little bit eventually. But yeah, where was I looking for? Alright, I need to make an ender chest. It's pathetic that I don't even remember how to make it. Ender chest, obsidian or an ender eye. Where did I put my ender pearls? Oh, they're still in my inventory. There's four obsidian, where's the rest? There we go. I need to make the ender eye first. You know what, we need two. Oops. There we go. And we can go one brown with each of these. Um, I wonder if we can just put this directly onto the back of it. Or if that'll work. Or if we need an item duct leading into it. I think that should work right there. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god. I did the wrong ender chest. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the ender chest that I would just put in my base. With that in it and that in it. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, I need to go get more wool. God damn it. I thought that seemed like a weird recipe. Ugh. Okay. So we need just wool. That's all we need. There's really no sheep around here. I could sleep. We'll make it daytime. Then we will go over and gather string to make it. Yeah, I had to ask what machine it was, and I don't even know how to type, apparently. We will put in a rowan sapling, other sapling, hawthorn. We we need a lot of birch. That's one of the big ones. It's gonna be a birch sapling. You can throw in an oak sapling. Um, you know what? We'll put in like a couple birch, but for now we can just throw in more of this. So that seems like a good setup. Oh, by the way, if you put your head on this, you get a lot more altar power. It replaces a skeleton head. So that's what's going to get us up to 8k for making our, um, like, intense sort of spell casting that we have to do. Our intense circle magic. Wait, I was one short? What? How was I one short? Whatever. Um... Okay, we'll go over and get some wool, because there's no sheep around here. There's one, but he's not. It's like somewhere else. <laughs> Up here, the, there's like a bunch of string. Ugh, I don't know. Do damn it, I don't have shears on me. Does it break faster with a pick? God damn it. I was up here with shears earlier, and I was getting some, but then I think I died with the string. Um, did I leave 
them in here. You know, we'll just make new ones. There we go. Need eight string. Oh my god, I'm out of food. Kill some of these pigs while we're up here too. I really need a more stable food source. Um, so we'll figure that out. We'll all figure that out off camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then this pig. Pig, you're mine. You're mine, pig. I'm gonna kill him with this pickaxe. Ha ha. You bastard. That should be enough for now. I'll just cook those two. I li that's how I. That's actually how I'm living. Is like food to food. Like each time I kill something, it's to get the food I need until my next harvest of wheat or next collection of food. It's really sad. Okay. So we got the wool. Uh, I just need to pull out some more blazer rods. Oh, you know, I don't have wood either. Maybe I'll just use the rowan wood. Okay. Got that. And we are good to go. Is it cooked yet? Yep. Okay, so this will come over here. And the rest will go up here. Then we need to make barrels. And I don't know how many we actually need, but we'll make a decent amount. And then we're going to move this stuff. Um, yeah, we can just break this. Please give me this back once I break it. Good, okay. So this can go over here. We'll dye it one brown. And then this can be placed right here. And here. I got rid of that door over there because we needed to move the kettle out because we moved our altar. So it's out here now. Out here on the floor. And then I'd really like to see one of these grow to see if it works, but we'll leave that. I'm sure it does. Um, we're probably getting there on time. Uh, does it matter which one I use? No, probably not. We'll just use regular barrel. Wow, that wood looks a lot different from the one I see. I have like all different types of wood. Can I use rowan wood? Hopefully. Oh, it makes rowan wood barrels. Okay. Is there anything weird about these barrels? You know, I need to make item ducks too. Does that take tin? I don't even know if I have any smelted down tin. No. We'll do that. And do I have any more wood? It's like excess. Not really. So we'll just put each of these here. And then we'll connect the item ducts, and we'll need uh, probably need a pneumatic servo because we'll separate the wood, which will go above the saplings for each tree. Uh, tin. Where's our lead? Lead. Uh, I just got a steam message. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry that you could hear that. Whoops. 
But that's probably going to be it for the video today, guys. Um, I'm going to need to flip that. So I need to make uh, the proper tools, though. But this uh, farm should get going over here. Uh, I may make another one of these for, like, a wheat farm. And uh, that'll be good. That'll be our food source then. We got it moving. And this is working perfectly. So it'll just be a matter of when these grow. Uh, sorry, it was a little bit of a dull episode. Had a lot of cuts in it because I wasn't really prepared. It's like really late right now, but I'm going to put out a video every day for the server so you guys can look forward to that. But if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe because, like I said, I'll be putting out a video every day and post any comments with feedback because I always take it into consideration in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.